Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going into a very fun subject which is creating foliage or greenery or uh, trees uh, in 3ds Max. We are not going to model a tree of course but I want to show you where you can find realistic trees and use them in your renders. Now uh, a couple, I want to show you a couple renders that uh, I've been messing around uh, lately. All of these renders I'm going to show you are personal projects. I really like to create um, nature scenes like this. Uh, nature sceneries maybe. Um, this one uh, was called The Flowers and um, I've shared this uh, a couple weeks ago. And uh, you can find there's a couple more renders. This one is called White Interior and, or Airy Interior. And we have less foliage in here but uh, I'm going to talk about this as well and this one is the uh, is the one I'm working on right now I, uh, this is a work in progress it's not finished yet uh, you can see some <laughs> major errors in here but whatever I wanted to show this to you because uh, I want to sh uh, show some various scenes uh, I guess okay now uh, these uh, flowers or these trees are uh, paid models so uh, they're not free uh, but I'm going to show you wh where you can reach these anyways. Um, but I, I want to show you some free sites where you can uh, grab qu high quality trees as well. Okay, f let's get rid of this uh, for now. And first I want to show you that they're ready to use foliage in 3ds Max as well. It's under Crate, Geometry, AEC Extended and Foliage. But you will find that these are very simple models. They are not realistic. They, maybe they are just for reference purposes. I don't know. But you can see that if you just click here, choose any of these and just click to the scene, you can create a tree right away. Okay. As I told you, don't expect uh, realistic renders out of it. Maybe you can uh, play around with this and iterate this and make it more realistic. But uh, in the end, uh, you won't be able to get a photorealistic result, in my opinion. Maybe if you if you uh, manage to do that, please share them uh, in the comments, and uh, I'd love to see that. Okay. Now, what uh, if we are not going to use these? Uh, what are we going to use? Now, first uh, thing I want to show you is a free web, uh, not totally free, but there are some free samples on the website, and you can use them. I really like this uh, resource because. I use this uh, in my tutorials all the time. Uh, the site is called Max Tree. Let's go ahead and get rid of these and go into Max Tree. In here, uh, you, you can see that there are a lot of uh, libraries in here and they are quite uh, realistic. Uh, I really like these trees. Um, they sell these trees, I know, but what we're going to do here is we are going to go in one of these um, libraries. Let's choose one of these. Yeah, here. And you will see that we have a free sample in here. Okay, uh, for the 3ds Max, for Cinema 4D or an FBX uh, model that you can import various softwares. Let's click uh, to the 3ds Max version and go to desktop and download this. Uh, now, it's not the whole catalog but you will be able to use at least one uh, realistic model uh, also they share some various models of the same tree type so let's go in there maybe this one is not a tree this is uh, probably more like a foliage thing but there are trees as well let's go in here and let's go to corona uh, it doesn't matter you can choose V as well but I use Corona so I've chosen that. If you go to extra large icons you can see that we have a foliage and some variants, uh, various models of it. Okay, Let's uh, call this in 3ds Max, into 3ds Max. Actually let's merge it. If you click on open it will open in a new scene but if you merge it you can just merge it to your scene and right away you can see that we have this model in here. Uh, after you import these, I recommend you to, by the way, this uh, method is for all uh, ready to use models. You need to uh, bring in textures as well. Uh, as you can see, this is a gray model uh, right now. We don't have any textures. You can check that if you hit M and just grab this material. You will see that 
uh, in the bitmaps uh, bitmap slots we have black uh, bitmaps which means that it can't find the bitmap that it's looking for uh, so what you what i want you to do is to go to customize go to project uh, configure project paths and in external files tab you can, you have a button called add you can add various addresses here let's go to the desktop and just click on the maps and use path hit ok now if you reload this you don't need to reload uh, all of them uh, when you hit render it will be uh, ready so for now let's let's just uh, bring in bitmaps i guess so that we can see it in the viewport in here maybe opacities as well as i told you you don't need to do this you just have to hit uh, should hit render and it should work okay now uh, th this is a very very uh, cool um, resource in my opinion so you can use this let's uh, check out another one in here uh, which has trees this this uh, this is trees let's download this as well uh, after this is finished i'm going to check it out uh, right now let's go back to max okay this is one uh, trick you can use um, the other ones uh, i'm using they are not uh, which are not free uh, let me bring this back in uh, these are ever motion trees uh, i really like that library you can find it in evermotion.org uh, they're not very cheap, but they're not uh, very expensive as well. Uh, I I really think this is a very cool um, model resource. I use these uh, resources a lot, but you can see that right away we have some trees. There are a lot of different type of trees in here. Uh, whatever mood you are trying to create, go with those trees, I guess. Uh, but you can see that this is uh, 120 euros uh, for all the library, uh, which will pay out itself uh, pro i promise uh, because getting realistic trees uh, are key for creating realistic renders when you're actually in any scene if you have any greenery if you have any foliage then i recommend you to use these uh, trees uh, you can see that this is an interior render but uh, the trees make it mu much more realistic and we have other types as well by the way this uh, plant is from max tree the it's not a free sample, I guess, but uh, it's from... Uh, actually, it is a free sample. Um, for You can see that it looks very great in render. Okay, it's realistic, in my opinion, at least. Okay. So, uh, Evermotion was another resource. Uh, another one uh, for creating grass. In, uh, for example, in here, I've used Forest Pack. I, I've tol talked about Forest Pack in the previous tutorial a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go deeper in this tutorial. Uh, of course, I know it's a paid um, plugin, but you can get get a uh, demo version, and uh, it's it has limited uh, abilities. But uh, if you want to just fill out a flat surface or fill out a flat uh, rectangle, uh, it will work out. Let me show you how it works. Uh, I have the paid version, so I'm going to use the pro version. It's in here, Force Pro. And uh, uh, first we need to define an area. Let's do that first. I'm going to go to create sh shapes rectangle and create a rectangle. Then I'm going to go to create geometry I2 Force Pro. And if you just click on this rectangle, it will fill that out uh, automatically, as you can see. If you go to modify tab, actually this started as a scattering tool. Uh, it's a great scattering tool. You can randomize your scattering. You can use maps to... Um, avoid uh, scattering on some planes or uh, some areas um, you can also r randomize your objects as well uh, actually i'm going to combine this with the max tree thing but first uh, i'm going to show that in a minute first let's uh, check out the library because they they have ready to use um, libraries in here if you click on this uh, under geometry if you click on this library tool then you will see that the old of um, ready to use meadows, lawns, and everything. That's very cool. Um, 
I guess this was the one I've used in this render here. Let's check that out. I'm going to double click on it. And you will see that it fills the area out with those uh, built-in models. Okay. Uh, if you want to see this in action in render, let's create a Corona sun. I'm going to use Corona. Uh, you don't need to uh, do this, of course. I'm going to just create a Corona sun. Uh, this, this is for demo purposes. I know we are not into render yet, but uh, I wanted to show this to you anyways. Uh, let's select the sun and add a sky. And I'm going to bring down the exposure a little bit to see what's going on. And you can see that right away we have these greeneries. Maybe I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So that we can see more detail. Of course, we need to add a soil, soil plane underneath and we need to add a lot of different stuff. But for now, let's just uh, see how this works. And right away, you can see that we have uh, very good foliage. It's a little bit blurred, I know, because it uh, tries to calculate the render. Uh, but if you zoom in in Corona, it will just render this area out and I can show you uh, Show this to you in a little bit more detail, but you can see that we have these things in here. Okay And it looks good right away. This is very cool. It saves you a lot of time uh, So this plugin is worth its money as well. Uh, I, I'm not afraid for any of these I just want to share what helps me create fast and realistic uh, renders so uh, I'm showing this to you. Okay, uh, let's get rid of the sun for now. Uh, one last thing I want to show you is uh, you can use Forest Pack Pro to scatter uh, realistic trees, uh, realistic foliage as well. So let's delete uh, this one. Let's bring the first one in again. Here it is. And now I want to just create a new Forest Pro object. And in this, I'm going to go to geometry. I'm going to choose the default geometry and I'm going to use custom object and click on this one in here. And you will right away see that it scatters that model along that uh, rectangle. Okay. And maybe. This is not a high quality thing. Let me make this a little bit smaller so that we can see uh, a better preview. This is a point cloud preview. It helps out with the uh, performance uh, in your viewport, but you can go to display and show your mesh in the viewport as well. Uh, I guess we have a max limit. Okay, you can see that if we, if I make this less dense, then I can see the preview. Yeah, now you can see that we have these scattered out uh, along this uh, or inside this rectangle. Uh, you can, of course, make this more dense. Uh, I'm, I just want to show this to you in viewport, so I made it um, a, little, a little bit more sparse. Now, uh, what I want to show you is the real power of this tool is it's uh, under its transform tab. You can randomize everything. Like if you enable the rotation randomization, for example, it will create these uh, foliages. It will, each time it creates one node, it will uh, randomly rotate it around the z-axis uh, between zero and 360. So it will it should look more randomized or even you can change the scale randomization which will make these smaller and larger you can even do this with, like between 1 and 120 and you can see that uh, it looks more randomized uh, right away okay and you can of course bring in more variations and increase the object count under the uh, geometry tab you can add a new object and 
go to custom object and select that one to add to the uh, random, randomization. So force pack is a really, really powerful tool. I really recommend you to check this one out as well. It's, it's uh, well worth its money. Um, for the last thing I want to show you is uh, the one that we downloaded after the first one. It should be this one, I guess. Yeah. Let's see if this is a tree. I guess it's a tree because it has more, uh, uh, the file was more loaded. So let's see. Yeah, it's a tree. I'm going to bring this in, merge, and you can see that we have a tree right away. It's realistic. It has these leaves segments uh, even. And uh, let's go to customize, um, configure project paths, and add the maps for that one as well. Then I can hit M, choose this. Actually, if you don't want to redo these steps, maybe you can just re-import the tree. Let's try that. I guess it will be, make it, things a little bit easier. Uh, let's get rid of these. Let's delete this one and let's re-import it. I'm hoping it will show the uh, textures right away. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was right. Okay, you can see that this is uh, this looks very cool. Uh, and it, actually, this uh, this one is very uh, uh, really a good tree. I guess it's very it has these characteristic uh, little ferns. Uh, it looks cool. Yeah, maybe I'm going to use this in a render. <laughs> okay, this is how you create foliage in 3ds Max or find some good trees for your renders in 3ds Max. And after, uh, for example, if you like these free samples, then you can just buy the whole library uh, and you can, from the start, you can see that if it's worth uh, your money or not. And uh, what I recommend you to do uh, at this uh, step is try to charge these fees to your customers. Like if uh, someone asks for you a, an architectural render, uh, you can say uh, tell them that I'm going to use this tree and it costs this much, so you don't need to pay it. Uh, out of your own uh, budget, uh, you can uh, reflect the budget to the customer, I guess. Okay, I hope this was useful. Uh, if you find it useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.